Hello at Jam and Thrive Kids. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. And parents, I hope you are here too. My name is Miss Christine from Grace Lutheran Ministries, and we have been walking through this red letter challenge for kids together. We are on day 34, and we've covered a lot already. We've talked about being with God, forgiving others. We've talked about serving and giving. And right now, this week, we are talking about going. Going, going where, going why? We'll get to all of that later, don't worry. Right now, we're going to focus on our reading for today, which is Luke chapter 8, verse 39. It says, return home and tell how much God has done for you. So the man went away and told all over town how much Jesus had done for him. So right away, I know we usually save the challenges for the end, but I wanna challenge you right at the beginning of this lesson to draw a picture of your family. So I have an example for you. This is my father, my mother, and then I have an older brother named Daniel. That's me in the middle. And then I have a little sister named Katie. So I want you to draw something similar like this. Get your siblings on there, your brothers and sisters and your parents, put them all on a picture and then come on back to the video so we can learn more together. All right, so hopefully you have your picture in hand. And you know what? We are really gonna talk about how family is a gift from God. Every single person in your family is a gift from God. God created families, every single one of them, to provide comfort, safety, love, and trust. All the things that we need to survive and thrive. But families don't always provide those things, do they? See, sometimes families can be the exact opposite. Sometimes our families can hurt us, like when our brothers and sisters betray our trust, or maybe your mom or dad aren't there when you really need them to be there for you. See, sometimes our families let us down, and that can hurt. But we can, always, we can also let our families down, can't we? We might be rebellious, or maybe we don't even realize how we're acting toward our families, but we hurt them anyway. Whatever the reason might be, it's hard when we hurt the people whom we're supposed to love the most. And it's also really hard when we get hurt by the people that are supposed to love us most. See, in Acts chapter 13, verse 22, God says that David was a man after his own heart. That is quite the compliment, right? And yet, David's family was far from perfect. Actually, David's family was kind of a mess. But what made David special was that even in the mess, he pursued God. He sought the heart of God, and we should do the same within our families. Going is when we share God's love with others, and there's no better place to start than in your own family. These are the people that we see the most, and God sends us first to the people that we are around a lot, which would be your family, especially during this season, right? This is the who when it comes to going. When we share our faith with those around us in our family, we are loving people the way that Jesus told us to love people. God made a promise to Abraham, a very, very special and strong promise called a covenant. A covenant is a promise to do something for another person, whether or not the person keeps their end of the deal. So when God made a covenant with us, he promised to love and to save us, even when we do not behave the way that we should. He always keeps up his end of the deal, even when we don't. So no matter how bad we act or how sinful we are, he always keeps up his end of the deal. That's how awesome our God is, huh? See, one of the greatest treasures in the tabernacle where the Israelites worshipped was called the Ark of the Covenant. And according to Hebrews chapter 9, verses 3 through 4, this Ark contained three really, really important things. It contained the tablets of God's law, Aaron's staff from the Exodus, and a golden jar that held manna given by God in the desert. So those three things reminded people of God's covenant love because God used them to guide and protect the Israelites. These things showed us that God never, ever, ever gives up on us. Because we know that God will keep his promises, we can be sure that he will be with us in all things and in all ways. Jesus said, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Those are really comforting words, aren't they? 
So he will be with us as we love our brothers, our sisters, our parents, our whole family. But even when we try really hard to love our families well, we don't always do it the way that Jesus would want us to. That is why we have Jesus in the first place, because we will sin and we will fall short. We are his family. We are part of God's family. And he loved us so perfectly. He was demonstrating how we can show love to our family on earth. We give, we serve, and we pray for our family. Hopefully we do that daily. See, we can show covenant love to our families. We can share our greatest treasure with them. So, your challenge today, and this is a fun one, is I want you to lead your next family prayer. Whether that's for dinner or at bedtime, I want you to lead your family in prayer. Now, you can do all sorts of prayer, but I'll give you one that you could do right before dinner. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. Amen. Pretty simple, right? See, you can do this. You can lead your family in prayer. Show them God's love. I know you can do it. So next time your family prays together, say, hey, I'm going to lead us in prayer instead. Okay? That's your, that's your challenge for today, and I know you can do it. Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and just speak to God. You can repeat after me. Dear God, help us to love our families with the same covenant love that you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.